Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how you can create a different type of team member area using Elementor. So this is the default style for our team member and when you hover over any member, so it's showing like this. For this tutorial, I will use the Elementor Builder and little bit of CSS code. So without any further ado, let's get started. First I'm taking a new section and I'm taking a three column structure. And for this section, I'm also taking some spacing in top and bottom. So going to edit section, going to advance and here we can take some padding, making it to unlink. For top, I'm adding 100 and also for bottom 100. All right, and now for each column, I'm taking a team member. So for that, first I'm click on the plus icon, and here I'm taking a inner section. And now removing the first column, and here going to the inner section, going to style tab, and here I'm taking a background image, going to background type, image. For example, I'm taking this one and image position making it to center center and size making it to cover and now for this section going to advance and here i'm going to add some padding in top and bottom so making it to unlink for top i'm adding 350 and for bottom adding 20. and now in this column i'm going to add some text like name and designation so again click on this nine dots icon and here I'm taking heading and changing it to name like John Doe and here HTML tags I'm changing it to P tag and going to style tab changing this color to white and typography I'm changing the font size to 15 or 18 and font weight making it to 600 and adding letter spacing one pixel and now for this section I'm going to add some overlay in the bottom area so again going to inner section going to style tab and scroll down here is background overlay so here we can go to the gradient option and here for the first color I'm making it to transparent and for the second one I'm adding the black color and now changing the opacity we can increase it and also the position for the second one I'm making it to 89 and for the first one we can make it to 61 all right like that and here we can add some padding for this column so going to edit column advance and here going to padding first adding 10 pixel and making it to unlink for right side i'm adding 15 and left side 15. now going to add a another text so going to duplicate and this time I'm adding the designation for example here I'm adding marketing executive and going to style tab typography I'm making the font weight to 300 and also we can decrease the font size to 16 and here I'm decreasing the spacing between these two so going to edit column and layout and widgets spacing I'm making it to 0 or we can add five and then finally the last item we can add some social link so again going to this nine dots plus icon and here I'm searching for social here is social icons and changing the alignment to left going to style tab color we can make it to custom and primary color I'm making it to transparent and secondary is okay the size we can decrease the size and the spacing between each item i'm making it to zero 
we are done and now for this social icon we can decrease the spacing in top and bottom going to advance for margin making it to unlink for bottom adding minus 5 and for top minus 5 all right and here again going to the edit column going to advance and we can increase the padding in left side so I'm making it to 20 for left and right and also for this social going to advance and we can add some minus margin in left so going here minus 8 pixel all right so we are done and now I'm going to add some hover effect with this team member so for that I'm going to my website I will also leave this page link in my description so you can get it from there so here first I have to add this class name for each member inner section going to copy this class name and going here going to inner section from advanced here is the class name I'm adding this class name and then if I go here so then here some small CSS I need to add this CSS code so here we need to add this code to this inner column so going to edit column from advanced if I scroll down here we will find the custom CSS options this custom CSS options is only available for Elementor Pro so if we still did not get Elementor Pro I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can check it from there and after activating the Elementor Pro you can get these options for custom CSS and now going to my website and copy all these CSS and simply paste it here and now if I hover over on team member we can see it's showing a nice hover effect with our text and here for this column if I go to the advanced and here we can move this column line to little bit of left so for that we can remove the padding from this column for left and right making it to zero for left and right and going to the edit section going to advance and from here we can add some padding for left and right going to 20 pixel right 20 pixel left all right so now we can see the line is moved in left side and now if we hover over so it's working perfect and now if I also go to our inner column and go to the custom CSS so here if we check here is the color we can change the red color to a different color and border width the initial width I have take the 4 pixel and you can change it to any size then height I have added 85 pixel and then time durations for the transition by default here I have added one second you can also increase or decrease the time and here we can also customize all the CSS if you want alright I am saving our page and finally I'm going to duplicate our member so going to copy the inner section and going here then paste it and also paste it on the right side and now for the first one I'm changing the image going to style tab and here I'm adding another image for example I'm taking this one and for the third one also taking another image going to style tab and here going to take this one and here we can make the design a little bit different for the second one if I go to the inner section and from advance for margin making it to unlink and for top I'm adding minus 50 and also if I want to add more member so simply duplicate the section and now for the first section if I go here from advance for bottom padding we can make it to zero and now for the second section going to edit section from advance for top padding we can make it to zero all right so now it's looking good and here we can change our member name and position 
and also if I check the responsive view for this team member area so going to the bottom left corner going to the tablet view alright so our tablet view looks okay and also if I go to the phone view for phone view it's looking okay but for the second item here I have added minus margin so we can remove it for the phone view so going to the second member from advanced margin we can make it to zero and also for another one going to inner section from advanced margin making it to zero alright so now it looks okay for phone going back to the desktop crossing it and finally save our page and if we hide our panel so this is the final result for our team member alright so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video